guys, welcome back to the channel. So Space and K had a beauty bag event uh, about a week or a couple weeks ago, so I thought I would share what I got with you. This is the first time I've ordered from Space NK, and it was a great experience. The online store is very easy to navigate through. The shipping time was very appropriate. Um, I really liked the merchandise that they had on the site. So in the fall, there's all these beauty bag events, and I usually go for the Barneys, like Love Yourself, bag event or beauty bag event or whatever they call it. Um, they always have like great deluxe samples in there. So this year I thought I would change it up. I didn't take advantage of the Barney's bag event. Um, I decided to go with the Space NK. So uh, the Space NK was, I believe, you had to purchase $275 instead of the Barney's like $200 or $250 that they usually do. Um, so it's a little bit more, but I liked the actual bag or at least the looks of it. I liked more than the Barney's bag. Um, and the samples were a little bit different. You know, the Barney's ones, they tend to use the same vendors or whatever, which is fine. They're, they're always great. But, you know, I just wanted to change it up. So I thought I'd share with you what I purchased and why and kind of go through quickly what was in the actual beauty bag. So the packaging is great. Uh, they put little samples in this Ziploc Space NK bag. Um, I purchased a bunch of the Surratt new uh, smoky eye batons and they put them all in this bag here and then everything else is wrapped up with this packaging material which is very very cushiony and very very light so so I thought the packaging and the shipping was really great so let me show you these new smoky eye batons that I got from Syrah Beauty if you guys watched my um, Syrah Beauty collection video you will have heard that right in the beginning this is probably my least favorite product from the line only because I think I don't know how to wear it. Um, the actual pencil liner always seems to smudge on me. Um, but let me show you what the product actually looks like so you know what I'm talking about. So typical Surat packaging in the beautiful box. Here is what a smoky eye baton looks like. So it's double-ended. So at one end, what you have is a twist-up eyeliner. And then at the other end, what you do is twist to open and you have this sponge tip applicator with the same color as the liner but in powder. And the powder product is actually in this cap here and so you just place it back in, twist a bit, and then you'll get more product on the sponge tip applicator. So I love the powder and sometimes I'll go and I'll take my smoky eye batons that I have and I'll take out the um, powder side and kind of use that just as powder, but this side has always tended to uh, smudge or smear or I end up with like raccoon eyes at the end of the day. So um, I was watching a, I guess it was a, it was kind of an interview, it was, it was like a profile on Troy Surratt who is the um, creator of Surratt Beauty and he's a makeup artist and he was talking about how this is his favorite product in the line and I thought, you know what Michelle, get into it figure it out, figure out how to use it. So I have three of the existing colors. It's like I have the black, the brown, and then there's like a deep plum. And uh, for fall, they came out with, I think four new colors, maybe five new colors. I'm not sure, but I purchased four of them. So this is, these names are gonna kill me. So this is Canon Debut, Canon Debuté. I will flash all the names up there. And let me go ahead and swatch this color for you. So this is like a beautiful uh, wine kind of burgundy color. And then the powder has a little bit of like a satin sheen. So that is a Canon Debut. And then I also picked up Sendris. Again, name will be on the screen. And this color is a beautiful taupe. And again, this powder has a really lovely metallic sheen to it. So this is Sendris. <laughs> oh, these names. This next color is Etins Etincel. Oh God, Etincel. I'm gonna go with that. And this is like a really beautiful dark kind of chestnut brown. It has like a reddish, slightly reddish undertone. So that's Etincel. And then the last one I picked up is Partir in Fume. <laughs> I really sound stupid right now. This is like a mid-tone, smoky, gray, graphite kind of color. Really pretty. 
and the powder, the associated powder, is very uh, silvery. So here is that Fume color. So I'm really excited to test these out. I think what I'm going to do is do a full review on these smoky eye batons. I'm going to do like a wear test. I'm going to show you all the different ways I'm applying it in hopes to get like a day of wear in without it smudging. So look out for that. I'm really excited for these. These new colors are really beautiful. And then I picked up three things from the Lila B line. If you've been watching my videos of late, I really love the bronzer that I picked up. And uh, earlier this year, I picked up one of the eye quads, and I've just been so impressed with the products that I figured I really wanted to do like a one brand full face review and tutorial. So I went ahead and picked up the Flawless Finish Foundation. I love the Lila B packaging as well. It's, uh, it's minimalistic, just like the Syrah, but like the complete opposite. It's white, it has like a matte finish to it. And then inside is the Lila B, they're like pebble packaging. So their packaging is super sturdy. It's, it's metal, it's quite weighty. And here is the foundation inside. So it's a powder foundation, I believe. And I got the shade B Natural. And it's an incredibly smooth, smooth powder foundation. So I'm excited to check this out. I will definitely be doing a follow-up video on these products. I'm not even going to bother with a swatch because you can't see it, which is a good thing. So I think it matches me pretty well. I also picked up the Virtuous Veil Concealer and Eye Primer. And I got it in the shade B Bright. I don't know how many different uh, shades they have. And again, it comes in the uh, metal pebble packaging. This one is very small compared to the foundation one. So here's the foundation, here's the concealer. And here is the concealer. So again, this is Be Bright Concealer and Eye Primer. And then last but not least, I got the Divine Duo Lip and Cheek in the color Be Lovely. And this seems to be the same size as the concealer. And here is the color there. So it's a cream product that again you can use on the cheek and the lips. So I'm really excited to give this a shot. I like how a lot of their products have a dual purpose. This being for your lip and cheek. The concealer is a concealer and an eye primer. Um, the Flawless Finish Foundation is a powder foundation so you probably don't need to use powder on top of that. So I'm really excited um, to give these a shot. I'm going to go ahead and use these with the primer and the eye quad that I got and do like a full face video on that. So keep an eye out for that. So here is the Space NK bag. So it has this like really cool finish, uh, like leather like. I'm not sure if this is leather. I'm not sure if this is actual real leather, but it is um, a lovely, lovely bag. I love this sort of finish to it. It has like a, like a flat bottom here, really nice uh, silver zipper at the top. So just to quickly go through what's inside the bag, um, there is a new face by Carol Cole, never heard of this brand, Prep and Glow Cleanse, Exfoliate and Hydrate Tools. So these are dual sided, five textured cleansing cloths. So I'll be really excited to give this a shot. I am traveling a lot over the next couple of weeks, so I'm going to be bringing these along with me. They're individually packed, which is great. I got a Amila Morrissey Firming Cream. Decent size uh, little sample tube. Derm Institute Antioxidant Hydration Gel Mask. That sounds exciting. So it comes in this cool envelope with two masks. Uh, something from Miriam Cavedo Weekend Recovery. So the kit includes um, Black Baccara Dynamic Weekend Peel Booster and Glacial White Caviar Hydra Pure Rescue Mask. Wow. Oh, weekend indulgence for your hair and skin. Oh, awesome. Wow, look at the size of this. This is a great uh, tester here. So this is the Rescue Hydra Pure Rescue Mask. So this is for your hair. And then the Black Baccara Dynamic Booster weekend peel is for your face. Uh, I got a Tula purifying face cleanser with probiotic technology, a deluxe sample size of this Orbe dry texturizing spray, by Terry Lift Essence Night Cream, uh, Natura Bise Tenso Lift Neck Cream. This is another skincare brand I would love to get into, but it is tray expensive. 
uh, oh, a Diptyque shower oil. Um, Eve Loam Rescue Mask. A Malin and Getz Vitamin B5 Body Moisturizer. A Ren Flash Hydro Boost Instant Plumping Emulsion. A Kat Berkey Brightening Serum. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, the Way Wave Spray. Ooh, a Lipstick Queen Lip Liner in Nude. A Tata Harper Reparative Moisturizer, Silky Moisturizer for Dry Skin. Perfect. Oh, the Sunday Riley CEO. I believe it's like a cream? Is this a face cream? Yep. Repair Moisturizer. Uh, ooh, a Jin Soon Nail Lacquer. Let's see what the color is. It's called Aria. And it's, ooh, it's like a really cool metallic magenta color. Uh, and mascara from Ro... I don't know if it's Rodial, Rodial, an Hourglass Girl Lip Stilo in the color Peacemaker, uh, a Chantecaille Flower Harmonizing Cream. So here's a Smith & Colt Flesh Riot. I think that's a lip gloss? I'm not sure. Uh, something from Juara, Juara, a Candle Nut Hydrating Shower Gel. Something from Uma, Total Rejuvenation Night Face Oil. Look how cute, comes in this little bottle. A Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic and Retinol Wrinkle Recovery Overnight Serum. This bag is literally never ending. Gold Fadden MD, Solution Vital Boost Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer. It is for problem uneven skin tone. I've never heard of this brand before either. Uh, 111 Skin or 111 Skin Space Defense Bright Eye Lift Gel. Ooh, the Amor Vixa Thermal Cleansing Balm, which is one of the cleansing balms that I do like to use. So this is a great deluxe size. And then one last thing, oh, from Kevin Aquan. This is the Flesh Tone Lip Pencil in Medium, which is one of my all-time favorite lip pencils. It's so good. It's like the perfect nude. So that's it. That's all that was in the bag. I I do feel like there were more products in here than the Barney's bag. Of course, you did have to spend more in order to get it, but I love these bags. They're just so much fun. I love getting deluxe sample sizes for obvious reasons. You get a lot more product. You really get a chance to figure out whether or not a product is for you or whether or not you want to buy the larger size. I feel like those little foil packets are kind of useless like I, I can't figure it out I can't figure it out in such a short period of time so anyway I love these beauty bag events so I hope you like this space NK beauty bag haul please comment down below with any comments or questions please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it uh, please subscribe down below I'm very demanding please subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video